Richard, what's going on? What is going on is we're making a, a nice breakfast food, I suppose. Or I guess it's an any any time kind any day, of food. Yeah, yeah. Chef Eric from the Marriott in Newport joining us this morning, and uh, there's a fancy name to this, but basically it's just uh, a, a fruity bread, fruit gingerbread. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What we're trying to do is we're tying together the uh, gingerbread house that we do in the Marriott and the uh, fruit gingerbread back from the Christmas uh, times and the colonial times. Okay. So basically, what else it is? It's butter, sugar, molasses. Ginger, mace, spice, uh, flour, a little bit of uh, milk, um, some uh, uh, baking soda, and then any kind of dried fruit, uh, which is where a lot of the sugar would come from because sugar was so expensive back then. Um, so what we have here is currants and raisins. Um, and then we also add some of the, the local equidnic honey uh, right there on the island and kind of whip it all up, bake it, put it on a plate, and eat. And eat locally, a lot of local ingredients, right? Yeah, a lot of local it? ingredients. we got the eggs, the honey from the island. We have, uh, for the sauce, we're using uh, Thomas Two's rum, which is uh, distilled right on the island in Newport. Really? Absolutely. I did not know that. Oh, you got to have some rum from <laughs> Newport. <laughs> <laughs> the way to start the day right, you know? <laughs> you say so, Chef. Whatever you say goes. Uh, we're going to cook up that bread here in the kitchen with Chef Eric from the Marriott coming up in just a bit. So you can find the recipe and ingredients online, as always, at foxprovidence.com. Back to you. What's cooking now? Well, what's cooking is I'm here with Eric Steinhauer from uh, the Newport Marriott, and we're making... I, I'm so nostalgic. I love, like, the old-fashioned recipes. We're making a special fruit cake today, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Fruit gingerbread. And, and it's named after a person. Who is this person? Um, it, it comes out of the uh, the Whitemore uh, cookbook. Okay. Right? It's the oldest uh, surviving colonial cookbook. Uh, it's in the uh, Newport Historical Society down so in Newport. So cool. So a piece of history you can make in your own kitchen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, we have all the ingredients yep. here that uh, we're going to make in the next segment. But right now what you're making is an anglaise sauce to go over top. Okay. So what do we have in dessert there? sauce. You have a little bit of vanilla and cream. Mm-hmm. And what you do is uh, you take that, take about a cup of that and about two ounces of sugar. Okay. Put it in there, bring it up to a boil. Yep. Then what you have over here is uh, egg yolks. Separate the uh, whites out and about okay. a cup, about eight egg yolks and about a cup of sugar. Do you want me to keep whisking while you, you put it in? You just keep whisking okay. that up. and Because you want to keep whisking this so you don't make scrambled eggs with cream. Yeah, right. That'd be kind of gross. <laughs> no, yeah, not real good. You know, i got to tell you, the, the, the fruit cake just has a stigma. You know, the jokes oh, every year yeah. about, oh, it's yeah. a lead sinker. Yeah. Oh, i got to eat it. But, but what do you like about this particular recipe? Uh, this re Well, the, the first thing I like, it's, it's so moist. It gets a lot of the flavor from the fruit. Yeah. Um, so there's not, there's a little bit of spices. The spices and the sugar, you know, it was very expensive back in colonial times. Yeah, they so were. So all the flavor and the sweetness really comes out of the dried fruit. You can put any fruit in you want. This recipe calls for currants and raisins. Mm -hmm. Um, but you could put dried cranberries, dried cherries, uh, apricots. Good. Oh, it's phenomenal. It's really good. Moist. You put this sauce over top of it with some fresh berries like we have over there. Yeah. And it's, it's just an explosion in your mouth. Explosion. We like it. Holiday yeah. explosion. Absolutely. All right. We're going to join Eric here to put it all together in just a couple of minutes. But now we want to send things back to you. All right, back in the kitchen, Chef Eric from the Newport Marriott joining us this morning on the Roadshow making Mrs. Elizabeth Whitehorn's fruit gingerbread. <laughs> we can't help but say it that way, right? Do you know, uh, do you know her? I do not. She, she lived uh, in the 1800s, yeah, right? 1802 yeah. is when she wrote this yeah. recipe. So I'm pretty good chance you don't know her. You guys yeah. don't text each other. Right? No. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm sure one of my kids did. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I mean, we got to put Danielle to work again this yeah. morning. Yeah, she hasn't done enough. Doing all the work. Yeah, I don't do enough. I That's get to right. burn my keep. Relaxing. Go ahead. So if you if you take the recipe that we have up on the website, you're going to add the ingredients just like they're listed. So the first thing got you're going to want to do is uh, just like you said, cream the sugar and the butter. Okay. How much add. butter is it? Uh, it's, it the recipe a lot. calls for a half cup. We're doing a double recipe. Oh, a cup. oh double. Okay, got it. Lots of butter. Lots of butter. And while oh she's God. doing that, yep. you can take the baking soda and dump it into the milk there. Okay. Yep, that'll steep it up. Do you know I have one that of these tough. mixers? Never use it. Well, not yet. You're getting some practice See? on it right now. I've had it for like four years. Never use what, it. What, one of those blenders? It's one of these KitchenAid you have one mixers. Of those? Yeah. Got it as a Christmas gift. It's still in the box, I think. All right, here we go. Well, hopefully it wasn't a family member that gave it to you. I know. No, you know what? My husband has used it. Sorry, I haven't. Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Don't put your finger in there when you. Yeah, well, I, I've got seven more. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So while that's going, we'll go ahead and take the molasses. Add it in. Yes, ma'am. All right. Put all that in. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. I have to admit, I was test testing this uh, recipe in the commercial break and the the 
I, it's an aftertaste, but it's a great aftertaste. Yeah, it has a lot of nice flavors. Yeah. The, the fruit is uh, really where the flavor comes from. The spices and the sugar were very expensive, so the dry fruits were cheaper and easier to uh, to ship. Um, and so you can put cranberries, um, dried cherries, any kind, any kind of dry fruit that you have. Uh, you can put it in there, and like I said, that's really where the flavor comes from, and the moisture. Okay, go ahead and slowly add that in. Different okay. speeds for the different ingredients. Yep. I feel like we're like shouting over the mixer. <laughs> I feel a little bad there. Hopefully you can hear us. All right, here we go. What is this going in there now? This is the last, uh, the flour. Flour. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to make this a gluten-free recipe, which you oh. very well could, you can yeah. substitute cup for cup. Uh, one to one, uh, the uh, gluten free flour. Great. And it'll come out a little bit more dense. So you want to add about another quarter teaspoon of the baking soda. Okay. I know a lot of people who need the gluten free, so oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where does the honey and the rum come in? Or the rum? I know. The, the, rum, the, the honey and the rum right are in the sauce, which uh, we made a little while ago. Uh, one second, and then. Now, this is going to be a very wet recipe. Most people want it to be a nice dry, but as you can see, it's wet there. And now we're adding in the milk. Which is going to make it obviously sorry. Make it even a little bit more wet here. That's okay. I'm going to step away from the splash. Okay. There and we then go. And we can go ahead and dump in the currants and the raisins. This now you said this is going to make two loaves. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma it's a uh, a lot in here. All right. Now I know you've got a fruity theme going here, but I'm a big fan of chocolate chips and just about everything. Absolutely. Can we put chocolate Absolutely. in there? Absolutely. And nuts. You no, can okay. Put any kind of nuts. Um, Chocolate. I mean, I'm a white chocolate person. Ooh. So as you see there, yep, right about there is where you want it. You that want to overmix it. Looks good. All right. And then. How do I open this thing? Here, you're well, here let oh me show you so when you go home. You'll know <laughs> you're right. go oh my God, I don't know how to move it. All right, there you go. Take that right off, and then we'll go ahead and spoon it right on into the container here. So what did you put in the uh, in this here? Anything? That just sprayed with a little bit of uh, Easy Off Pam. You okay. can take some butter if you have that. Mm -hmm. How long do we cook it for? You put it in a 300 degree oven for about an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will show you exactly Let's how it Let's see that finished product as we put this one in. So for the rest of the crew here. We'll put this okay. in the oven. One in, one out. Go ahead and take this one out. And that's exactly Oh my what gosh, you, let me move this out of the way. Exactly look at that. what you want it to look like here. Uh huh. Um, it's beautiful, light, it and is. airy. Now, you can serve this hot, warm, just like it is right out of the oven. You want to let it sit for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, slice it up, and then you can serve it with cheese and a nice fresh glass of roti fresh milk. There's our finished right down there with right some there. berries. Yeah. Right and with some berries. We have the Yangay sauce that you have that we'll be serving in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And like you say, through the miracle of TV. Oh, the oh, miracle, miracle. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, you know, it's Christmas time. Yeah, we yeah, you need to I'll come back more often. You're going to be doing all these out. miracles on live TV. And then we have What's your this? sauce that you made. Just mm -hmm. go ahead and take a spoon I of that. I actually made and this. Yes, you did. Yay. Which has our famous Thomas II's Newport rum in it. And my Betty Crawford. Look at me. Look yeah, at this. You are awesome. Star. Just drizzling are, it right on there. Beautiful. So pretty. There you go. Well, uh, if, when you get a chance, when you talk to uh, Elizabeth Whitehorn, uh, <laughs> her, let her know we Absolutely. we love the bread uh, and we miss her <laughs> terribly. <laughs> we miss her. Our <laughs> Too bad she's not around to enjoy it. That's right. Eric, thanks so much. Have a great Welcome holiday season. Newport Marriott joining us this morning. The recipe ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. Michelle.